Hello, hello, and welcome to Porcupine Pancake Art, or welcome back to Porcupine Pancake Art. I'm still looking over in the place that I hope is the right area until I can get a better camera or something to use or to figure out where it is that I actually am supposed to look. Um, today, what I've decided to do is a Dollarama haul because I'm in Ontario, Canada. And we finally are able to purchase essential and, well, non-essentials, essential and non-essentials, which is the important right now, items at many of the stores at, a, like, I believe a 15% uh, capacity, um, store capacity. Um, but I think it's a great thing. And I wanted to pick up things for this channel for this studio, this this studio you see, because it's very, very plain, and I just, I need to get it going. So, went to Dollarama, and uh, found one item at Walmart, so I'm going to check out with you what I got in the bag, so let's go check it out. the first item and I'm really excited to have this one. I've seen it on other channels and um, I knew I needed to get it uh, for channel for the show. I'm calling this a show. Is it a show? I'm calling it a show. So It is the Home Deco letterboard with 188 letters, numbers, and symbols. And I'm hoping to put the title of the channel, Porcupine Pancake Art, on it, and maybe a little positive quote, words, something like that. And uh, it looks like a good size. And it was $4. So very reasonable for what's inside. And I will figure out how I'm going to display it, and maybe somewhere in the backdrop. But that's the first item. Let's go to the next. This one took me a while to find. I wanted to find something a little bit cuter. I saw a couple. I saw some high school musical ones. My son wouldn't like I purchased that. Um, so I saw this one. I said, okay, why not? It is studio index dividers. Um, five separate colors with, at the back, uh, where to label the different sections and that'll help keep me better organized for this channel and hopefully keep me on top of things if that's possible and the price for that is 175 still i'm looking that way i'm not sure again and as you see again with the space i don't know it's just really drab all i've got is a little piece that i did back there some lego things and that but i want to I want to get this going and what's in front when you see when I'm doing art. So let's go to the next item so I'm not keeping you here way too long. Okay, next up. To go along with that and the only Walmart item that I did find. Okay, this. I love this. And also very inexpensive. I know you could probably find it cheaper at Dollar Ram or Dollar Tree, somewhere like that, but. Um, I did take the price off. It was $2.97, so I just thought it was really beautiful. It's from uh, Pen and Gear. Three bucks, a three ring binder, and I just love the design. Tie dye, kind of another retro ish, maybe um, old fashioned things to go along with this. And we will check the next item out. The last item for this bag is this. And I love this because retro. Um, I did not need a pencil case. I think I've got way too many actually already. Um, on a side note, if I'm looking in the wrong place, I'm, I really apologize. I'm still working on that. Um, but bear with me. I'll get it. H. H, you know. 
I'll go with that. Okay, so I love it because it has cassette tapes. I still have some of those. Actually, one or two maybe. Uh, camera. It looks like a, an older camera. I almost dropped it. Uh, cute little glasses. They look like high top uh, sneakers to me. And I just, I just love the look and the feel of it. Just reminded me of the past. Great way to age someone. Um, it's from the company Mine, and it was only three bucks. Got a little pocket in the uh, in the front to hold uh, erasers and such, and a very large. Let me see. Styrofoam. I don't need this, but I could use it for some kind of crafting. You just never know. Very large space inside. So I really like buying that. I like to buying that. I like having this. And we'll go to the next bag then. Not too many more to go, so we're at the six minute mark. That's okay. Uh, bought some more recycled because you can never have too many of these bags. I saw this one, this item. This is Dollarama. And I just, uh, I actually saw the cat version, but when this one caught my eye, I had to buy it. It's going to go on the desk over here when I'm doing my art. Um, maybe not when I'm filming because I think it'll be a distraction. Um, this. It's called uh, Selfies, as you can see. Look at all the animals. Look at them. They're so cute. I'll show you here. There. You can see all of it. Isn't that just adorable? And they're all taking a selfie. And, okay, so it's from Prime Novelties, Dollarama, for $1.25. I might go back and get some more. Maybe the kitty cat one, they had a puppy dog one, they had dinosaurs. I mean, maybe I'll even just put it in front of me there. It just makes me smile. I just love it. And it's actually 3D. Um, some of the, like the bird, the bird, butterfly stands out and pops out at you. Yeah, some of the little critters pop out little froggy over there so I'm just excited by that okay this will go along with two other items that I will use for my art station here to organize my oil pastels I have a couple that aren't in a set and I wanted to put them together on the desk so I could get them easily easy to put away in a trolley that I have over here. So this is where these two little guys are going to stand on. I've got it the wrong way. I really liked the wood design. And then there's the marble. Dollarama again, and it's uh, Mellowware, and it was $3. So really nice natural feel to it to go along with. Did I get two different colors in one? Let me show you. Hold on. Yeah, I did get the dark, the dog, and the light version of these leaves, which I think are just adorable. Again, for the oil pastels, my loose ones. And both from Patio Plastico. Not even using that. Not using it for a patio because I don't have one. Um, again, for my art desk. So these two, uh, one twenty-five each, and this is the darker green, and this is the lighter green. So you can see together, and they will go. Goodness, people who do these videos, 
I give you props. It's it's not easy. I'm trying to get things organized and and uh, yeah, this is my flopsy mopsy way of doing it. So something like that, and I'm hoping to have gosh gosh gosh. Um, yeah, that looks lovely. <laughs> I wanted to have maybe a tiny little cactus in the middle. Uh, maybe a real one, maybe not. I'm not sure yet. Um, maybe I will put a picture in here. I'm not sure. Um, so that you see what this looks like. Laying down. Um, like that. There's that. And that's going to be great to keep those supplies organized. My last item, this was long considering I don't have that many items, uh, let's toss that somewhere, is a favorite of mine. I actually thought I was going to embroider but I don't think I'll be able to embroider it but I, I, I really like it. I think it's so cute. Again from Dollarama, it's this bag as you can see here. And it looks like denim jeans. There is a pocket in the front. Nice space. Um, from Hingham. And four dollars. So we've got that, we've got the handle, and then at the back, you'll see the there around there. So when you open it, because there is a zipper. Lots and lots of room. Okay, lots of room inside. I don't know if you can see how much room there is. Let me see. Let me use this little guy to help. Let's see if he's going to help. You might recognize him from last video. Uh, Mr. Porcupine Pancake himself. Let's see. This might help with the room. And hopefully, I won't close it on you so you don't suffocate or anything. Guy. So he's, he's gone. But as you can see, there's a lot of room in there. Let's take him out. Put him back where he was. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't. He, that's okay. And as you can see inside is another little pocket. I picked up um, a fabric paint from Amazon that has to come. Just a black. Um, and I'm going to just zipping it up, sir. Uh -oh. So zip on not working. Okay, zipped up. I'm going to design it myself, and then when it's finished, I will show you. Still have to wait for the supplies and get a design going for the pocket, for the front, and I might do the back as well. So, I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked the haul. I'm excited to get this place started. I want it to be on a budget. Um, so hopefully this will give you some tips, tricks, a way, get, a way to get uh, ideas to keep your, maybe your new art space going, your new uh, studio space going for maybe an evolving channel like I'm doing. Um, so. If you like this video and you want to see other ones like this, other other Dollarama hauls, um, my main channel, my main purpose here is going to be for art, uh, for drawing. Um, but I will be doing more of these as I get the studio going. If you do enjoy the video again, as I said, um, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, that would be great. It would really help out. And I'd love to have more people here. Um, could have our own little art family and I could uh, I could have I'm dead book okay that's the outtake maybe an outtake well I hope you subscribe I wasn't as nervous this time this time I'm, I'm, I'm nervous I'm not sure why um I hope you sub and uh, and I'll see you in my next video where I will be doing more arts. So I've got to get back into some of the pieces I was working on for the last time, okay? Um, hope you have a great day, afternoon, evening, and bye for now.